that says that a standard angle of a cyclic coordinator is equal to the opposite interior angle. A standard angle of a cyclic coordinator is equal to the opposite interior angle. Remember, before now, we've done several theorems for height. So I adjoin you to look at those theorems so that you can be able to follow. And you know, we have already started doing some calculations as well using those theorems. So quickly, without taking our time, we want to show that this y is equal to this z. A standard angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. This is cyclic quadrilateral. That is a four-sided figure inscribed in a circle. That is a cyclic quadrilateral. So this a standard angle of it is equal to the opposite interior. As soon as you enter here from here, what is standing opposite is this. Okay. How are we going to show that theorem that this y is equal to z? Okay. Required required to show that that A B C that angle there is equals to is equals to M D C M D C is equals to this angle. That is to say we want to show that Y is equals to Z. Okay. All right. We we'll say now recall. I don't want to take time doing that. Recall, recall that A, this angle here, A, okay, A, B, C is the shortest way to show it. That A, B, C, this angle, hmm, plus A, D, C, A, D, C, this angle. Is equal to some of them is 180 degrees. You record that how and where. Okay, that is what we are trying to say is that y plus x is equal to 180 degrees. So where is it coming from? Where it is coming from is in the proof that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. We have done that proof already. So if you check out on that proof, you see that opposite angles of a cyclic or lateral, they are supplementary. We've done that already. So back to what you are saying, I will back it up that same by saying that opposite angles of cyclic quad are supplementary. So I'll call this equation one. Then I will come back again. And I will also say that also this thing doesn't take time. That z plus x okay, is equal to 180 degrees. That this plus this. So y sum of angles on a straight a straight uh, line. I think that one is so it's so same. It doesn't need a any we know that okay let me call this two equation two so i will say hmm? you see one eight is here one eight is here get that since x so i say comparing comparing hmm? one and uh, two these two equations so let me bring them together i have y plus x y plus x here equals to 180 degrees and i also have z plus x equals to 180 degrees so if i subtract them subtract them okay i am going to have here to be y minus z and here x minus x zero equals to so 180 minus 180 zero again so do you realize that here y is equals to z and by implication this angle a b c is equal to the angle M D C that the two angles are. This is just a very simple way to show that a stereo angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. It's just a very, very short, it doesn't need too much, uh, you know, a uh, story there. So I'm sure that this was able to be of help. We are going to make use of it in the subsequent class, in the classes we are going to have, you know, subsequently. So please 
you have to understand it because when we'll be using it, you need to follow what you're doing. Please, if this was of help to you, why not like it and share it to someone and also subscribe to our channel because we have a lot to deliver. Thank you so much for being there.